Oh, I haven't seen that intro in a while. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy Shade here, and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, where today we're going to be playing some survival game mode on my favorite mission, Resistance. Now, the reason why we're playing this instead of multiplayer is because, unfortunately, my Xbox 360 does not have a capture card quite yet. I will be getting one on the 26th, so if you want to follow or if you want to subscribe or stay tuned or whatever, I will be playing a ton of Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 Search and Destroy, like the good old days. But the reason why I'm playing Modern Warfare 3 specifically is because Modern Warfare 3 has been rumored to be the next Call of Duty for the franchise. Now, this was already confirmed because people were releasing a bunch of different leaks of in-game screenshots and in-game gameplay. Those leaks got copyright striked and it was copyright owners to Modern Warfare 3, which basically confirmed the game is going to be Modern Warfare 3. And we've already seen their logo too. It says Modern Warfare 3, but it's red themed, which is kind of interesting. I thought they'd go with the lime theme like this version of Modern Warfare 3, but they didn't. It's all right. And this Modern Warfare 3 is supposed to be developed by Sledgehammer Games. Now, it's funny because 12 years ago, when this game that's on my screen now was being developed, it was supposed to be developed by Infinity Ward, but unfortunately, Infinity Ward was going through a bunch of different legal disputes and firing a bunch of their team members, and Sledgehammer Games had to bail them out by developing this game for them. Fast forward 12 years later, Modern Warfare 2 made by Infinity Ward was so ass that Sledgehammer Games now has developed Modern Warfare 3 to bail them out of another problem. It's so ironic when you think about it. <laughs> but there's already been a lot of leaks and rumors surrounding Modern Warfare 3, and I'm going to go through all of them with you guys, at least for what we know of so far. Now, I'm going to start with confirmed leaks, confirmed by Call of Duty themselves, starting with a tweet that they made that says, Let's get this out of the way. Should Modern Warfare 2 operators, weapons, and bundles carry forward into Call of Duty 2023? Which is huge, because that means every single thing that you bought in Modern Warfare 2 will transfer to Modern Warfare 3, because the only answers that tweet had were yes and yes when is the reveal. That is huge. Now there is a downside to this. This means that they have to spend less development time making newer weapons and they could just give us all the old weapons from MW2, which grants less content for everybody, including content creators and the average player that just wants to use a different gun. And there's another issue. When they transfer those guns over, will they rebalance them to make it to where it's not the same two guns that everybody uses just because it's strong and the best gun in the game? Other than that, the upside is that you get to reuse everything that you spent money on, which is great because MW2 was ass and I shouldn't have spent any money on it, but I will be able to use what I bought in the next Call of Duty, which is, you know, so nice. Now, we do have a list of weapons that were already leaked for Modern Warfare 3, which I'm kind of excited for a few of them, like the Uzi, but I'm going to go through the entire list for you right now. We've got the Rafika, we've got the Rival 9, we got the AMR-50, the KVS Terminus, KVB-73, the Bass P, which is already in Modern Warfare 2, the Sidewinder, the Striker 45, which is probably the same version of the Ump from Modern Warfare 2019. We've got the SAR-9, we've got the WSP-9, which is the Uzi. We've got the Lock-9, which is the MP5, which was in Modern Warfare 2 already. We've got the MTZ-556, the MTZ-762, which is supposed to be the SCAR, ANVLB, we got the MCW, CLG-58, the AK-556, and the TAC-V, and the TAC-V was already in Modern Warfare 2. But those were the leaked weapons. We do also have leaked gameplay changes, which most of them are actually really good, and I'm super hyped for starting with ninja returning as a perk thank you personally i've always been on the bandwagon for ninja being a perk instead of it being a field upgrade just because i don't like the fact that you have to charge your dead silence only for five seconds of use and then you have to charge it for the rest of the round now usually infinity ward has their game volume for movement and footsteps way to the max so i could hear you across the map when you weren't using dead silence which in my opinion isn't how it should work and if Call of Duty strives to be super realistic, it shouldn't work like that either. But Ninja is supposed to return as a perk, which is fantastic, and red dots are supposed to be on the minimap when you fire your gun, which is how it's always been for 20 years, and for some reason, Infinity War just wanted to change it up and ruin that for everybody. Thankfully, for Modern Warfare 3, apparently the red dots are going to be back on the minimap when you fire your gun, which makes suppressors actually useful again, because the only time you'd ever use a suppressor is if it gave you damage range and not suppress your gun for any reason, because nobody actually cares. You can still hear the suppressed gun from miles away. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. The war mode from World War II is supposed to be returning as well and i don't know if it's exactly like world war ii or if it's gonna be like the world at war version 
because the World of War version used the maps that were already in the game, while with a World War II version used brand new maps specific for that game mode. So I don't know how it's going to go. It's probably going to be the World War II version of War where they make specific maps for that game mode. War was fun, but I'm going to be sticking with Search and Destroy just because that's the game mode that I prefer. It was always the, the fun game mode and the one that took the most skill in my opinion. Perks are also going to be categorized into different pieces of gear like helmets or gloves or boots as an example. And it's going to be basically like the regular perk system where you have your first perk, your second perk, and your third perk, except just categorized as a different set of gear as a way to make it semi-realistic. With the perks being categorized as gear like gloves, helmets, and you know, boots and stuff, you can kind of get an idea of what those perks are going to be for and the kind of idea of what they're going to be used for in a certain way. For example, like Ninja is supposed to be dead silence and it would make the most sense to have that perk under the boots category just because you're trying to be dead silent. Where something like reloading faster or maybe scavenger would make the most sense under gloves just because you want to be able to reload quicker with your hands or you want to pick up certain ammo packs quicker and make the most sense. Now something that does suck is apparently the UI is supposed to be very similar to Modern Warfare 2, which does blow a lot because the UI is awful. <laughs> So I hope they change that or have some type of difference to make it a lot more user friendly because it is awful. I hate the UI in MW2. Also, apparently the idea of reload canceling is returning, which is also really big because unfortunately in Modern Warfare 2, you can't reload cancel and most of the time you die for it. So I'm glad that's returning. Also, what surprises me is Outbreak for Zombies is supposed to be returning too. So it looks like Modern Warfare 3 will have zombies instead of a survival game mode, at least for what we know so far. It hasn't really been leaked yet, but we are getting outbreak zombies <laughs> the best part about all the changes though is that most of it's going to yield a faster gameplay experience for everybody that likes to actually move in a call of duty and not just sit in corners unfortunately we don't have any leaks on movement and if it's going to be any different from modern warfare 2 and if they were smart they would make it different because if it's the same as mw2 which is everyone's biggest gripe then it's going to be just a big problem another big leak is that most of the maps that were made for modern warfare 2 that never made it into modern warfare 2 are supposed to be put into modern warfare 3 instead of DLC for Modern Warfare 2, which is actually really good because that means we could possibly get High Rise and a bunch of the other MW2 maps that we were supposed to get as a massive $70 DLC update that we would pay for. The only thing that confuses me the most is all these OG Modern Warfare 2 maps is going to be in Modern Warfare 3, which makes no sense to me. It should have been in Modern Warfare 2 from the start, but you know, that's just how it is, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It should have been in Modern Warfare 2. Oh, they're not! Ah! Leave me alone. You're too slow. Let me run away and I'll nuke you. Got him. Easy. That's how you deal with juggernauts in this game. <laughs> also, you shoot him in the back of the head. It does more damage. All in all, I'm pretty excited for Modern Warfare 3, but I'm not going to hold my hopes too high because obviously I did with Modern Warfare 2, which is why I have the hat, and the game came out and it was just awful. So I'm hoping Modern Warfare 3, with all these changes that are good changes, makes the game fun. I just don't know about the movement. They never mentioned anything in the leaks about movement being different from MW2, but I'm hoping it is because Modern Warfare 2's biggest problem was the movement. People did not like it, which is why everyone complained about it. All in all, though, that's pretty much all of the info that I know and have right now on the leaks and rumors for Modern Warfare 3. Let me know down in the comments section if you're actually excited for this game, if you're going to even buy it, because I know for a fact I probably won't buy it until I know for a fact that it is good, <laughs> because I don't want to buy a game again like Modern Warfare 2, where the beta was actually really good, but then the actual game comes out and it was nothing like the beta where all the movement was a lot slower, everything was just horrible, and it was just not a good game experience. I just hope for PC players, they actually optimize this game because it was really annoying to play this game on every update and it would just be extremely laggy. So I hope Modern Warfare 3 is better. And I'll keep you guys updated if I hear any more leaks and rumors around Modern Warfare 3 because I'm hoping it's a good game. I just don't want Modern Warfare 3 to be bad and I don't ever prey on their downfall. I just want Call of Duty to be good. I've always wanted that. Nobody ever wants their favorite game to do bad, usually. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. If you want to see more Modern Warfare 3 survival or actual like multiplayer, please let me know in the comment section as well. I hope I went through everything that I wanted to get through today. If I didn't, then I apologize. And I hope everything came out clearly for you guys. But as always, I will see you in the next one. Much love.